Crash Bash is potentially the worst Crash Bandicoot game ever made. And whilst I had a lot of fun playing it and a lot of the literal opposite fun, today's the day I finally finished the main story of Crash Bash. That means getting all of the trophies in Hub World 4, a few gems and a few crystals so I can face the final boss battle of this game. Let's see how we do in today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments whether you're a fan of Crash Bash or you hate Crash Bash. I'm genuinely curious to know. Anyway, let's dive into the video. All right, well, we're back with some more Crash Bash. <laughs> Here's this guy. Don't know what he's gone through. Maybe he had to go through 200% of this game. Who knows? We're going on to War Room 4. We are at the home stretch of the game. This is the final boss we're going to be going against. Oxide Ride. I need 22 trophies. 50, 15 gems. Oh, my God. That's, that's a lot of gems. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Sky Balls. We also got Manic Panic. I don't really remember that one that well. Pogo Padlock. This game is... A, I'm never even touching the gem and the crystal in this one. We've got Drain Bash, Jungle Fox, Toxic Dash, Ring Ding. All right. This is the same as every single other one, except we are in the sky. <laughs> I think that is very much the only gimmick. I think the stage does start tilting quite a bit at some point. Yeah, there you go. I will say, thankfully... This is, I think, the last ball game we have in this game. So unless I do the gem and the crystal in this one, then this might actually be the last time we see this. And <laughs> do you know how thankful I am of that being the case? You probably don't. You probably don't. Dingadal is beating my ass. Oh my god, hold on. I'm not even looking at the numbers. I'm playing the game. Oh, don't tilt this way now. Just concentrate on you. Just concentrate on yourself and you will win. Oh dear god, please. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. That was terrifying. But you know what? It almost feels a little bit weird that we're towards the end of Crash Bash now. I did not, ex did not expect this to be the case. I say that, but I mean, if I keep performing like this, we might be playing this game for considerably longer than maybe first expected. I don't know. There's just, there's just simply no chance I'm doing 200% on this game, unfortunately. Um, well, is it unfortunate? This is <laughs> I may have had used coded language there. It's not unfortunate at all. In fact, I'm quite happy I'm not doing 200%. Look how uh, difficultly this is going at 1%. Just don't pay attention to anything else except what's going on in the game. Okay. Oh, shit, I won. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> we'll take it. Coco is moving like a fucking banshee down there. Look at this. Relax. No one else is moving like that. What? Did anyone? Oh, there's no fucking way the game just did that to me. It went through the fucking fan on the right hand side. All right, well, we did it. Good. <laughs> Good job. This game is so long and I'm so glad we are done with these stupid pinball games. Goodness me. Oh, that's right. There's bombs on this one. That's right. There's the bomb. That's what we need. But did I get it? Oh, I got the lightning instead. That's literally better. You know, all we do is a little serpentine. Oh dear. You're cornered. You cannot win. Psych. Oh no. Please, not like this. Fuck you. Oh no. Please don't do it. Okay, well. I was asking a lot there. I was asking a lot. Okay, well, this is not a good start. It's just about getting your eye in. It's just about getting your eye in. You know, the first couple of shots you take, they'll be a little bit wayward. But after that, it's all about getting them on target. Look, watch this. Boom, bam. Okay, <laughs> that's embarrassing. There it is. Yes! Okay, one win on the board. One, one, one. I don't have any hope for Dinga Down on this. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I have no hope for Dinga Down on this one. Easy. <laughs> okay, fuck. That polar bear went flying. Good. Oh my god, look at him. It's just I'm still back there. <laughs> this is a meeting of the minds. <laughs> this was a meeting of the minds, truly. Oh, <laughs> that's close. Look at that polar bear flying into the ravine. This is exactly what I was hoping. What the fuck are they doing over there? They aren't even concerned. The fools. Oh, I'm fucking screwed here. Oh, what? Oh, dear God, help me. I'm going faster though, which is nice. Oh, look at that snipe. Did you see that? You see the no scope? Do you see the ability in the Right. You want to do this? It took your time getting over it, didn't it? Fucking hell. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at his little hands behind his back. All right, well, there he goes. And there's the win. 3, 2, 1, 0. And just like that, the trophy is mine. So this is like every other Pogo game. Of course, you have to break boxes. 
I say every other poker game, one of them just didn't do that. But basically, look, what happens here, if you overstep, you, uh, you do delete your own squares, which is never nice. Okay, we got the padlock, that means I can't, I can't delete my own squares. Is this the best, uh, ability to have on this one? Almost definitely. 128, not a bad score. Not a bad score at all. But yeah, for anyone who has played this game before and remembers the crystal from this level, oh my god, it is the single most frustrating crystal on this entire game. Basically what you have to do, all of these squares, all of these squares that you're painting, you just don't paint them on the crystal. Instead what happens is that you get missiles and you have to get all of your squares by shooting missiles and stealing them off other people. And it is fucking ridiculous. Genuinely, I I can't even think of anything worse than attempting that. There it is. is that, oh, 127. The decline is slow, but it is there. <laughs> oh my god, he stole everything. And, wow, she was actually mega, mega close. 96 to 104. But unfortunately for you, Coco, I am the Pogo champion. The Pogo, the Pogo prince. Okay, this is by far the coolest out of all of the out of all of the box throwing games because there's special powers in this one which is fucking insane look at this okay well it, it, it that wasn't very good to be honest the way you win in this one you probably don't even bother throwing boxes off the time you just kind of got to hope to god you get the right power up uh oh yes i gambled right <laughs> i gambled right Yes, in a bit tidy. Easiest win of my life. That took way too long. This is it. What power up we got? Oh, we got the missiles. Not bad. Oh, shit. Oh, I've lost them already. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to gamble on it being this one. Well, that did not work out. <laughs> that did not work out at all. Right. There's only seven seconds left. Oh, my God. You know, well, she did die. Story, <laughs> okay, no, good. Really well, I won. Game. Great. <laughs> Great news. It's not in that one, is it? Oh, fuck. It's in that one. Oh, I've avoided both. You'll love to see that. Beautiful technique. Seen a bit. <laughs> There's the win. You see the sly little taunt from Coco at the end? It was, it was a big mistake. It was a big, big mistake. All right, we're on another tank game. But this one has no walls. Which is... Uh, Certainly a choice. <laughs> it's certainly a choice to make on this. Uh, a lot of my wins did just come from uh, the AI kind of just planted bombs and and honestly KOing themselves. But you know, I guess this is just what we have to live with. You see those little totems there on the on, in the center screen there. They're gonna have an effect. They're gonna do something. You'd like to think soon. When did they do it? Who knows? There they go. Well, if you do get hit in their AOE, then you, you, you just take loads of health. I remember when I was younger, I used to play like Crash Team Racing with like little toy cars that I had. Just basically just attribute different cars to different uh, races from Crash Team Racing. But I did that for like every single character. And uh, <laughs> when I mean every character, I truly do mean every character. As in this fucking totem guy in the center here. He was his own racer in my version of Crash Team Racing. Ooh, we got missiles. These missiles do damage. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. You see how much damage Dingadal took? You see how much damage Coco took? Oh, she should have. She should have got hit. Oh, no. All right. Well, she's ran straight into me and hoped for the best. Well, there they go. A little... <laughs> <laughs> little totem fellas. There we go. Nice little trophy. Easy, easy trophy for the last warp room. I say last warp room. This isn't actually the last warp room. There is one more, but I'm not about to explore it. Not for the final boss. <laughs> no siree. I've done my time. Oh god, this is a this is a terrible, terrible start. The little stars there, I'm pretty sure, just provide a, a force field for you if you collect them. It's like a little power up. I think they can also kill these little greens as well. But, uh, again, I don't think it's, it's too much of an issue. I'm just kind of doing my thing and they can do theirs. What the fuck was that? I don't actually know what happens if you don't finish in time. Never mind. I, ne I will never know that. Remember those races I was talking about in Crash Team Racing, by the way? The Crash Team Racing version I made? You better believe these little green guys were in it, as well as the big green guy in the middle. They were big races. They were big races. 
The thing is, in this one, we can just kind of take our time because the, the AI just play themselves, which is fine. Like, I, I'm not going to be... I don't think I'm going to be in a position, especially on the... Uh, oh, my fucking God. I don't think I'm going to be in a position on... Oh, my God. Let me play the game. What I was trying to say multiple times before I was rudely interrupted is that I don't think the AI is really in a position where they're going to finish the race ahead of me. Not on the uh, not on the trophy, anyway. On the crystal and the gem, absolutely. Oh, my God. Never, I'm saying this, but Tiny is literally winning. There we go. Easy win. And there's another trophy. You love to see it. All right, final uh, final trophy in this warp room. Uh, it's a completely, yeah, completely different game. This game's called Ring Ding, I believe. Basically, you just got to pop balloons of the color that's under your guy here. So I got to pop all the yellow ones, which uh, it sounds easier said than done. I shan't lie. You get these black balloons, then something happens. Oh, these ones have changed all of them to, to uh, yellow, which is nice. That being said, I didn't pop a single fucking one, so that was good. The Hoover is the best one by fucking far, by the way. You see how annoyed Tiny was? Tiny beelined it to me as soon as I got the Hoover. Okay, there we go. Easy dub. This is a weird game to put in. This is a very strange game to put in. I can't lie to you. This is part of a collection of games, which are just, just like, very, very random. So there's this one. There's Mallet Mash, I think it's called, or something like that, where you just, like... Hammered, hammered a bunch of stuff. I completely lost my train of thought there. Goodness me. But yes, sorry. Fuck me. Let me keep my train of thought for two seconds. You got this game. You got Mallet Mash. You got Dragon, uh, Dragon Dash. It's not called Dragon Dash. And then there's the fourth one, which I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, we won the second trophy on this. Congratulations. All right, well, there we go. We got it with a score 29, no less. That's not bad. All right, well, I think we've got all of the trophies. Is it 22 trophies we need? It is. But now, unfortunately, <laughs> I have to get some gems and some crystals. How many laps have I got? 10 to 8, 1 minute 15. Oh, my God, it doesn't even blow up the container. What a fucking piece of garbage item this actually is. I'm not really worried about the, the AI. I'm worried more so. Oh my god, I should have been worried about the AI. Did you see what Diggadal just did to me? You know what? I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time. Yeah, see? 10 seconds left. Easy as this. And just like that. Easy win. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I overcomplicated it on my trophy run of this. <laughs> but there you go. There's a gem. We've got 30 seconds. Oh, that is not enough time, sir. That is just not enough time. Oh, I fucking missed Tiny and I died anyway. Well, <laughs> that's not a good story. No, Tiny, target Dinger Dial. Yes. Please, Dinger Dial. Yes! <laughs> Two seconds left. We've done it. Okay. That was like, what, second or third attempt? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 30 seconds again. I <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure why I chose this. I'll be completely real with you. Because this did not go well last time. No! Why did I go so far? <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. <laughs> I'm skating. I'm skating, boys. Why am I, why am I even doing... Right. We're going. <laughs> We're off, boys. <laughs> we're off, boys. That was never ending well for us. We had eight seconds left. They were both on polar bears. I was skidding around on my stupid little feet. What the f- Oh, my God. I went flat. That was the shortest attempt at any gem or crystal I've had. Coca, please. Did she kill both of them? Oh, my God. She's a savant. She's a savant. <laughs> but look. I am the only one here. Where is my gem? Ding it out, please give me that lightning bolt right now. What the fuck? I definitely had it. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. Yes! Thank God. What? What a palaver. Oh, I can't do anything. I just keep jumping into balloons that just keep appearing right above me. This is the fucking worst. Look at this, man. All right, I'm done with this one. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm doing that one. All right, I've got nine to their 15. Hopefully, we can speed through this and we don't have to do multiple attempts of it. Hopefully. <laughs> there is an inevitability of this going horrifically wrong, but uh, we'll see. Coco, please. Coco, please. We've got one left each. Right, go. 
No. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, considering how boring 99% of that game was, the last 1% we're certainly nail biting, but we got the gem, we'll take it. In theory, the gem in Pogo Gogo -Go should be easy, but 150 <laughs> points to get is quite I feel like that's like an absurd amount. Especially if they keep fucking overwriting my squares like that, that's annoying. Right. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Why am I I'm getting targeted? This is what they do on these fucking gem challenges. They target you. I can't believe I genuinely cannot believe it. I I thought I was I thought I was only messing around, but they genuinely do target you on this. I swear to god they do. Okay. That was an easy gem. Thank god. <laughs> Thank god. I, I kinda put this one off, I can't lie. But that was actually quite easy. Score the most points in one go to win. Okay. This is pretty cool. I can do that. I can make that happen. Oh you fucking stop! Get out! You're fucking kid. Right. Well, that was a fucking joke, wasn't it? 23. That's a pretty good score. That's a pretty good score. 25. That's huge numbers. 26. All right. I've, I fucking won this. Come on. You're not getting better than 26. Easy win. Easy win. Your opponents will have intermittent shields. Well, that... <laughs> That sounds fair. That sounds fair. I don't know what the intimate shit. <laughs> fucking kidding me. <laughs> they just get that. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god, there's no there's not even a gap. There's not even a gap. They just get it. <laughs> when they just interchange between having that shield. That is fucking absurd. <laughs> One to five, and Dingadel could just get the shield whenever he wants, basically. He didn't even need it. <laughs> he didn't even need the shield. Okay, well, let's try this again. Do you see the fucking situation I'm in here? <laughs> Look at the fucking count here. The count is so badly out of my favor. How, how, have they not, how did they not put a restart button in this? I do not know. I'll be completely honest with you. My will to continue is being tested. It's certainly being tested. But I'm so close. I'm so close to finishing this game that I just... I couldn't bring myself... To stop in now. I couldn't. I couldn't. Why she got the shield again? Right, I'm not doing this one. <laughs> I'm not doing this one. I can't, man. I don't have it in me to do it. Let's see what Warp Room 3 has to offer. <laughs> we can go into that Warp Room. High with hope. Win without the ability to si What? <laughs> you... Alright, this one is definitely a right. No, made a mistake. I made a mistake. Just don't commit to anything. <laughs> That's what this one is. Do not commit to a single attack. Dingadal being the one here is the worst situation I could be in because he can push me twice. So maybe I actually need to kill Dingadal and Coco first. Maybe that's the play. Just play the evasion game. Just play the evasion game. Do not commit to a single attack. Oh wait, I was supposed to get to I was supposed to get Coco and Dingadile out first. What have I done? I just need those three to attack each other. If those three attack each other, per yes, that's a great start, guys. Good job, folks. Now you two just you two just hurt each other now. You just two you two just attack each other now, you hear? Why did I do that? That was so dumb. My my one and only scourge had already been defeated and I just overcommitted like a fool. Look at they're both just after me. Attack each other. <gasps> oh, my God. oh my god. It happened. It actually happened. You love to see that. And you know what that is, folks? You know what it tastes like? It tastes like justice. Win with the handicap of slippery shoes. All right, I don't sound too bad. One, there it is, easy, easy as that. We love to see it. We love to see it. That was a nice crystal. That was a nice crystal to do. Unlike the other one I just did. There's a part of me that thinks it was twelve crystals, and if it is twelve crystals, I'd be quite upset. Is it twelve crystals? How many crystals do you need, Oxide? Please say ten. Okay, that's about right. All right, well, let's do the crystal for, uh, let's do the crystal for Drain Bash. Why not? That one seems, uh, I don't know what this is, but let's see it. 
Be careful of how you open the special crates. Okay, well, Dingadal is... Oh my god! Okay, well, I thought, because I had some uh, iframes there, that I was going to live. It turns out that was not the case. So, uh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? You know what the worst part about this is? The worst part about this is there's still another crystal I've got to get. <laughs> the, the game is not even done. It's not even done yet. Avoid the attacks from the top. But okay, yeah, fine. I avoided them completely fine last time. There we go. Well, that was easy. Okay, now I think we've actually got the requirements to do the final boss. Are you all ready for the Oxide ride? Because honestly, I don't think I am. So for whatever reason, they made Nitrous Oxide the, uh, the final boss of this game. I genuinely have no idea why. But here he is. <laughs> I don't know, was it his nefarious plan to <laughs> put a bunch of mini games in together for us? But anyway, we just got to kind of get through the level and hope to the gods that we can uh, we can defeat him in the final clash. Which, unfortunately for me, is... Uh, well, you know what, you'll find out. Oh my god, hold on, hold the phone. Oh, okay, alright, well, here we go, we're teleporting. Look at this quantum speed. 1.21 gigawatts to planet of Gasmoxia. And yes, we are. <laughs> we are here again. We're doing more pinball, unfortunately. Which, uh, you know, at this stage of the game, it was an inevitability. And also, Oxide is just not letting this go. <laughs> he does not concede. He does not concede. So I'm just going to let myself die here because I had zero health anyway. But thankfully, when you replay it, you do end up back here, which is nice. This is fucking tough, man. Oh, my God. He, has he conceded another one since? I don't think he's conceded a single other one. There he goes. Okay, there he goes. All right, well, attempt number three. This is fine. Oh, my God. He's not conceded a single fucking goal yet. What is this? This guy is a machine. Not only is he the fastest racer in the galaxy, he's also really good at pinball or whatever this is. Yeah, I have no idea why this guy is the final boss, by the way. I don't know why they made Oxide the final I mean, because he was the final boss of Crash Team Racing, I get that much, but they could have probably just made another character, right? They probably could have just made another villain. Right, well, this is almost scaring to me here, folks. This is not going well. He has not even taken... A, he's taken, like, a third of his health at max. Bro, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> this is impossible. What the fuck? Come on, I've got to get my game face on. This is winnable. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit of a sh <laughs> That was an uncar- <laughs> What's happening here? Have you stopped- have you stopped thinking? What's going on, Oxide? Oh, shit. My, uh, my capture card just stopped working. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do? All right. Well, that was a weird- <laughs> that was an unfortunate technical difficulty. Well, we're back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. How did that just happen to me? <laughs> I swear to god, the game has been paused for like an hour whilst I was trying to fix my fucking capture card. And that's what I am paused to. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, I guess let's try this again. Alright, well hopefully my capture card doesn't just randomly die in the middle of it anymore. And uh, our fight against Oxide goes seamlessly. He's starting to concede. I think, for some reason, I feel as though the fight gets easier the more you lose. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm saying that, but all I'm saying is Oxide is conceding a lot more than he was. Look at the fucking state of this. He's not defending a single goal now. Well, there he goes. That's, <laughs> that's the victory. There is the victory. Koala Kong, you've done it. Uku has got all the crystals. Congratulations! Honestly, we probably didn't even need to go through the turmoil of Crash 3 Warped and all that kind of stuff. You guys get out of here whilst you can. <laughs> this is not a good time for you. We have let the evil win. Uh, good job, Ukuku, I guess. Well done, mate. You've done it. I don't... I, I had to cancel the cutscene. I didn't know what else he was saying. And... <laughs> and there is Crash Bash, I suppose. <laughs> There's the game. John Williams, Mark Kearney, Kearney. Thank you very much for your, for your <laughs> contributions. Brian Malone West, thank you for the animations. Steve Duckworth, great music and sound effects. Couldn't really hear him. Phil Bennett, you produced as an assistant. Well done. Thanks for your tool support. Then for the quality assurance, Chris J. Jackson. That's a cool name. Shuhei and uh, Ami Matsumura Blair. 
It's a very cool double barreled name there. Uh, yeah, look, John Crompton, market research. Maybe you should research a little bit more. That's all I'm saying, John. <laughs> Just research a slight bit more outside of Mario Party and the way they do their games. Anyway, yeah, there's Crash Bash. There you go. Um, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm never touching this game again. <laughs> I'm not doing the relics. I'm not doing 100%. I'm not doing 200%. So at the best of times, it can be quite fun. At the worst of times, hmm. Mm, it, is, it is truly unacceptable. But that is the game. There you go. I can't skip the cutscene. <laughs> I'm pressing start. I can't skip it. So this is very much the game. But yeah, thank you for watching. That's this one done, I think, for now. And uh, yeah, maybe till uh, maybe till next time. Crash Bash 2? Crash Bash Remake, anyone? Anyone for a Crash Bash Remake? No? No, no one? No, no one want to take that one up? Okay, fine.